Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm very excited for today's video. I wasn't planning on going thrifting today, but some days you just need a good thrift, if you know what I mean. So Jeremy's actually gonna go with me. We're gonna head over to my favorite thrift store. It's really nice, it's really good. There's always colors on sale, so I looked online and blue tags are half off today and pink and silver are 33% off. So we're heading over to Second Avenue to see what we can find and I'll, obviously I'll take you guys with me. We're gonna go thrifting together. I'm looking for things to resell online and maybe I'll find something for me or Jeremy or GU while we're out today too. So we'll give it a little look-see and then I'll take you guys with me and show you guys what I get when I get home. So what do you say, Jeremy? Are you ready to go? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let's go together. Okay, let's go. Okay friends, we are back home. It is the next day. We were running out of sunlight. It was dark out, so I decided to film today. But I have a good pile of things that I found and it was a very successful trip. I ended up picking up about 30 items in total. That includes quite a few little books that I picked up too for myself and a few other things for Jeremy and I. But the majority of the pieces here, I think about 23 of them are to resell and I spent in total $96.68. I got a lot of things that were on sale and then I also had my discount on top of that because I shop there so often. And so I got quite a few amazing pieces. So if you guys are excited for the haul, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and also give today's video a thumbs up. But let's jump into the haul because it is a banger and I found so many brands that I have never found before. Like this one, this is the first thing I found when I walked in and I never really usually go through the blouses section unless I have tons of time, which I did not. Um, but I started there because I found this and then I had to keep looking, you know? <laughs> so this is the first piece. Look at this top. It is so cute. It has a little bit of a flare to the end of the sleeves, a tie at the neck as well. But guys, look at this. I'm gonna take off the tag. It was $4, which is a steal for this brand. This is Farm Rio, which I have never found in the wild at all. 
Farm is a really good brand. It is so nice. Look at that cute little tag. And these pieces retail for quite a bit of money. Usually for a dress, it's like a couple hundred dollars. And then a blouse could be upwards of a hundred, sometimes 200. But this is a really cute little top. And I really like this color scheme. I think it's really nice. It's a nice little flare. So I'm hoping, this is my first time ever selling it though. So we'll see how it goes but I'm hoping to resell it probably around like 50 bucks. That's the goal I would say. But again, I've never sold it, so we'll see how it goes. But that was only $4 and that was a green tag, right? So that had been there for a bit. But then this next piece was the color of the week. I found quite a few color of the week pieces. So this was a blue tag piece. It's this cute little top. It's like a very lightweight, nice blue top. And then look at the sleeve. I think this sleeve is so cute. It's like a puff sleeve, probably three quarter length or it might be full length actually. But it's a really nice little top. And this is from J McLaughlin which is another really expensive brand. It doesn't always resell for as much as it could, but I did pick it up because it was marked at $4.49, so I got it for $2. So there was no losing in that scenario, for sure. I was like, if I found this in the bins, I would 100% pick this up. So why not pick it up for $2, you know? It was a no brainer. So with everything, I counted my cost of goods and it was $3.30. 32 cents, I believe. So not bad at all. And I was very excited to get such a good deal on so many good pieces. So this next piece I found, oh, I have one piece I'm not showing you that I picked up for GU. It was a cardigan, but I was looking for her for a cardigan and I happened to find this piece over in the cardigan section. Look at this. It is this very interesting like knit, they call this a jacket on the tag because it is new attacks. So it's like this cream cardigan jacket from Walter Baker, which was an amazing find. It's in a size medium. It is new at tags from Walter Baker. It's the Hendrix jacket in Ecru, the color. And then they scribbled out the MSRP, but it looks like it originally cost at least $168. It could be $268, but I love having all that information. Let me show you the tag again. I don't think I've ever picked up this brand either to resell, but this is a great brand too, especially if you can find new at tags things. If they're not new at tags, then they don't sell for as much, but new at tags, I'm expecting that to sell for at least like 65, $75, maybe up to a hundred. It's just really, it just depends. So that was a great find. And I think that was like five bucks or something crazy. They didn't mark it up very much, even though it was new at tags, which, Normally they do, so I was excited about that. And then, oh my word, this is one of my favorite finds of the day. Look at these boots, right? Are these not so cute? They are leather boots, and these look like, Target just came out with a pair that was very similar to this. Obviously not the highest quality, um, but these are actually a really nice pair of Steve Madden leather chunky boots and they're so cute look at that oh my goodness so adorable and these actually were a great find and like look at the bottoms they look like they've never been worn i think that's because these actually run pretty small in my opinion i tried them on i'm a nine and they almost fit me perfectly like i think these are more like a 10 than an 11 which is what they say they are and these are the gara boot in a size 11 it's all leather and it is so cute and when i was doing my comps i did a reverse image search of these and saw that there are none that i could find being sold right now there's only sold comps which is really good and all the pieces that sold even if they weren't new with tags were selling for like 65 to 90 dollars <laughs> so these were a phenomenal pickup for like six dollars oh yeah super duper excited about these in great condition they look like they might have been worn a little bit, but they're still in amazing shape. So I think I can get close to at least $75 for those. And then let me, let me show you guys the two pieces I picked up for myself. For $7, I picked up this little cropped sweatshirt hoodie from American Eagle. I really do like American Eagle's things for me. Like they fit very well and I like this kind of boxy fit. I love this color on me, so I grabbed that. Didn't actually try it on in the store, but it turned out okay. And then this one was $5 and it was from Aerie. Same kind of concept, but like just a white cropped 
sweatshirt with buttons on the front. So I thought those were both really cute. And I know I will wear those around the house, which is like literally all I do. I am around the house. That is what I do. So those were really cute. And then I picked up this jacket. Jeremy found this jacket and I love selling this brand. This is Woolrich, but this I believe is a vintage Woolrich piece. Look at this pink coat. Isn't that so fabulous? It really matches my um, sweater I'm wearing today. But this is from Woolrich. This is a women's piece. And then the inside has like white fluffy faux fur. This was $9, but silver was 33% off. So this was like $6 or $7 at the end of the day. Plus my discount, not bad. Um, I've got to find a size on this. That is the hard part about this piece. I don't see a size on this, but I'm assuming this is like a size large, maybe medium. I will have you try this on and we'll try to size it based off of that but it's a phenomenal piece any Woolrich pieces I find usually tend to sell really well for me at least 50 bucks this piece is vintage and I was looking at vintage coats from Woolrich and they were selling around a hundred dollars now this piece is pink and I think that that will make it more popular it's really cool it does have quite a few places on it that have like spots or just need to be laundered. So I'm gonna try to get everything out on this coat. I can't even find one right now. They're not super obvious, but it's just like, it's been around a, a long time and that's okay. So I will try to wash that and do some stain treatment on it and see if I can make it look as good as I can get it. And then hopefully we'll be able to sell it around $100. So that was a phenomenal pickup. And then let me show you a few of the books. They are some Cat in the Hat books. We found these, Jeremy found these. They were all, I think like 75 cents or so. This is the Cat in the Hat. Then we have, Are You My Mother? And then there's a walk in my pocket. Go Dog Go, one of my personal favorites as a child, especially, oh, Wacky Wednesday. This was my favorite. And then Green Eggs and Ham. So we picked up all of those books. We have a nephew, but also we were thinking we could probably just set these aside for when we have children. So that is the plan with those. And then this, I am kicking myself because I thought about this and I was like, oh, I definitely saw that brand earlier on before I looked it up and I didn't go back for it. I wish I would have because this is a bolo for kids wear, which I was not expecting to find a kids wear piece, but this was in the adult section. So this is what the coat looks like. It has this amazing red ribbon that goes down and over. And then the end of the sleeves have this like really fun faux fur cuff and we have faux fur around the hood, but this is by the brand Rothschild, which I have never bought. I think I feel like I've seen it before, but I did not realize that they make a lot of really nice kids coats and jackets, and they can go for good money. So this piece is in a size medium, size 10, 12, and it was $11.99, silver tag. So I think I paid like around seven or $8 for this coat. But the good thing about this is, Apparently these are really sought after. I saw tons of solds for these. I like that it's cinched at the waist. So a girl's size medium, 10 to 12, and a lot of the coats were selling for like around $100, which was insane. So definitely worth picking up. All the zippers work fortunately, and they are a YKK zipper, which we love to see. But it's this really nice, really thick, kind of puffy on the inside, more like fleece on the outside coat. And it's so cute. So. Hopefully we can sell that and make at least $75. That would be my hope. And I think that we can probably do it. And I spent maybe, well, at the end of the day, I spent $3 per piece. Um, so that was not bad at all. And let's show you another pair of shoes. I have sold this exact same pair of shoes before and I think I found them in the bins. So I paid a little bit more for these than I did for the original pair that I sold, but this was still a great pickup. Can you tell what these are? These are a pair of Uggs. Now, I know that these are called the Cardi Boot because they are like a cardigan. So we have the Ugg on all of the buttons and then here are the Ugg bottoms. They're in great condition. They're a gray pair. I've only sold a black pair before. So if you fold over the top, then it looks like that and it's really cute. So these, I think I sold the last pair for around $75. So I'm expecting to make at least 50 on those. And then I have not picked up this brand in quite a while, but I was excited to find it at such a reasonable price. This is a James Purse piece, and I like selling James Purse. This is standard James Purse. I do pass on a lot of their more like just basic pieces, 
This was only marked at $5. It's a dress and I definitely decided to pick it up. It has all this ruching along the bottom. It's really thick down here in black. And then we go into this really light kind of more like burnout fabric for the sleeves. It's kind of a nice little gray with black. It's really cute. And it is going to hopefully do well. Oh, it's double lined for the skirt. That's smart. So it's a mixture of cotton and lycra, but this is from standard James Purse in a size two. And I know that they have a different sizing method for James Purse. So I'll have to look at their chart to see what a size two is. I would assume it's supposed to be like a medium, but this, it must stretch. Surely it stretches because um, this looks like it's made for a Victorian women's like core. So that, hopefully we can make a good amount from. I looked up comps around $60. I saw a lot of dresses selling for, so I'm hoping for around 50 to 75. And then we have a pair of Danskos, and these are so cute. These are leather and they're in a size 39. And I don't often think Danskos are cute. I know that they're practical, but these ones are really cute. They're kind of like a Mary Jane with the buckle, which I think is adorable. They're black leather and they are in good condition. Look at that bottom. I think they're in great condition to be honest and they're absolutely adorable. They have some scuffing along the top here, but I was thinking if I do a little bit of my leather treatment, I think I can make them look really good. But a size 39, is that close to like, I feel like that's close to an eight or nine. I did a reverse image search to try to figure out exactly what the style name was and what this particular style was selling for. Cause I've sold a lot of dance goes for about 50 bucks. And these actually looked like they were more sought after because probably cause they're cuter. Um, but yeah, if I can find that style name, that'd be helpful. If you guys know it, let me know in the comments. But the comps for these were looking like even higher, like around 65 to 75 which would be wonderful. And then we have this piece and I do not pick up a lot of Pendleton. I know people like Lori Tata, she does. And I've watched a lot of her videos and I feel like today's my moment to really go for a Pendleton because I found this gorgeous wool brown jacket and this is actually dead stock. So I found it, it's new with tags. It's a hundred percent virgin wool from Pendleton. You can still see this tag attached from where it was being sold. Isn't that crazy? Look at that tag. And it looks like it was originally at least $90, but there, it, this is vintage and really nice. So there's the Pendleton label, and this is in a size 12. This is a gorgeous, kind of, I would say cropped, at least it would be cropped on me, this gorgeous brown wool jacket. I've never sold Pendleton really, and I've checked it all over for holes. I wanna make sure that there was no holes in that because I've been burned before, but it looks like it's in great condition. And I'm expecting, I looked online and a lot of Pendleton jackets like that were selling for 75 to hundred dollars. So if I'm being conservative and we sell it even for 65, I feel like that would be a huge win but I do feel like I could probably get closer to that $100 amount. So that was a good pickup. And then I picked up this because it was cheap. <laughs> Isn't that my, I feel like that's my downfall. Um, this is from Zara Woman. It's in a US size medium, but it's this really interesting, like kind of like high square neck on the front, really kind of curvy dress in this gorgeous plaid. It's a nice like tight and it's a nice like thick, but stretchy-ish dress and it was a blue tag. So it was marked at $5 for the dress. This is what the back looks like. So you can see it's a little lower in the back. And so I bought it for like $2.50, $2 in general, which helped to lower my cost of goods for everything else. And it was in great shape. I thought it was a cute color, a cute style, very interesting. And because it's so structured, I know I can take good pictures of it, which is a huge battle. So I decided to pick that up. Even if I sell that for like 25 to $35, that would be a win. And then we have a Patagonia piece, which is really exciting. It is a dress, which is, is probably not the best performing category for Patagonia, but that's okay. I thought this was really cute with these big blue flowers on it. It's a long sleeve dress with that V neck and it is from Patagonia in a size small. So it's definitely well made and I like that it has that piece at the middle but it's a really nice dress. And I've sold a Patagonia dress before. I think I sold it for like $40. It might've been like 50 but I think for this one in a size small, it's made out of a organic cotton. I think I could sell this for somewhere between 35 and 50 bucks. At least that's what I'm hoping. I also wanna mention, I have, I have more pieces, but if you guys are interested in anything in this video, I often get a lot of comments saying that you're interested in something. 
If you are, just message me directly on Instagram and then we'll, we can work out a deal there and I can get like shipping information and things like that in a much more confidential fashion. So then another piece I found when I was looking for a cardigan for GU was this little piece, which I think is so cute. It's so soft and I'm trying to get the arms right so I can show it to you well. It is this gray cardigan. It's an open cardigan with these kind of deep pockets and it has a hood as well. And like, guys, look at how soft this is. I don't know how to describe it. It's got a good squish test. It's very stretchy. But this is from Young Fabulous and Broke. And I have sold this brand a few times. I only have one piece listed. Oh no, I sold that one too. I don't have anything listed in my closet. This one's in a size small. And I thought that it was a really nice piece. It's really well made, but it wasn't like in your face. Young Fabulous and Broke, a lot of their pieces are more like big in your face tie dye. This one is not. And it was only $3.79. So at the end of the day, I spent less than $3 for this and it's such a nice piece. So I do think that that should at least go for maybe $30. I would be happy with that. And then we have one of my biggest weaknesses and that is vintage Disney. I love vintage Disney, vintage Winnie the Pooh. Look at how cute this piece is. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? It is this fleece quarter zip with Tigger and a snowflake. Tigger in a snowflake on the front. This is from Pooh, the 100 acre collection, and it is in a size large, made in Bangladesh. It is definitely vintage. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. It has another snowflake down here on the pocket, and it has also an adjustable like little pole, so you can make this bottom part tighter, which I don't know why you would want to, but some people might. But yeah, I got that for like $4. And I thought that was adorable. I just sold a vintage Disney piece literally this morning and embroidered the yellow piece. I don't know if you guys remember it. I'll have to put a picture on the screen. I sold that for $60 this morning. So I do think that piece I can get at least 40 bucks for. If I wait, yeah, for sure. Then this piece is a new attacks top shop. And I picked it up because again, it was a blue tag. So it was cheap, but I thought this was really pretty. This blue dress has these really pretty sleeves. And then it has this nice little slit. I would say it probably is a midi length dress. Absolutely gorgeous color. And then the back looks like this. And this is from Topshop in a US size eight. And it originally cost $95 at Topshop in US dollars. It also has the extra button. I literally was just getting ready to show you guys this when I saw that it has a hole on the sleeve. So um, this is what the underside of the sleeve looks like. I was expecting to sell this for around 50 bucks. Now that there's a hole, um, if I can sew it, then I think we can still get a good amount for it, but it's new at tags, but it has that hole and I wasn't expecting that. That just goes to show that you should always, always check over your pieces, even if they are brand spanking new, or so you assume. And then we have the second Patagonia piece of the haul. Was absolutely shocked to find this. I think Jeremy actually found this. This is a Patagonia, ew. Oh my gosh, ew, ew, ew. This is a Patagonia piece. It's a fleece little pullover jacket and I am literally so grossed out. That is an eyelash. I'm not gonna think about that. But it's from Patagonia. It's in a women's size medium. This gorgeous blue color. It did have something on the front here, but I scratched at it really well and I feel like I will get that out in the wash. So that's exciting. I wish that this had the Patagonia logo on the front. It doesn't, but I still expect, I don't know what the name of this one is. I've never sold this particular jacket, but I'm still expecting to be able to sell this for at least $35. So that was worth it because it was only like five or $7 somewhere in there. Now we have about four more pieces. This piece is a Bowdoin dress. I love picking up Bowdoin dresses and I sell them quite often for 50 bucks. So I picked up this one. It's a star print, which I just thought was so precious. It's a little minuscule star print and it is from Bowdoin. It's in a size 14 regular. And then this was a silver tag. So it was marked at $11, but I got it for more like eight or $9. And then plus more off when I had my other discount on top of it. I like this long sleeve. I like that it's gathered at the sleeve end. It has pockets as well. So for that, hopefully, especially since it's a good size and also has long sleeves, probably $50 is what I would expect. And then I think, did I only pick up one pair of jeans? I feel like usually I pick up a lot more pairs of jeans, but I found these. These are a blue tag, which is exciting, but these are Citizens of Humanity jeans. 
And I know that they're white, but citizens of humanity jeans always perform well. Like they don't sit in my closet for very long. So these are the Lennox cropped loose fit jean and they are in great condition. I was feeling really good about these. I will throw them through the wash anyway because they are white, <laughs> but these are in a size 25. So not very big, but still really, really cute. And I like that they are a looser fit. I think that will help them do better. So got those and they were $6 and 29 cents half off. I got them for $3. And then after I found that first farm top, which I was so excited about, I found this, which is my first time finding this brand as well. I was so excited. I wonder if they were donated by the same person. It is this kind of light gray, almost like a chambray button down but this is from All Saints. And I was so excited to find All Saints. I've never done it. I don't know how much it'll resell for, but I picked it up. It was also a blue tag. So it was marked at $7. I got it for $3.50 plus some more off. So $3 for All Saints was a heck yes for me, especially since I've literally never found it. And it is such a nice piece. I'm so excited. And the buttons down the front are actually like snap buttons, which I think is nice. This is the Riva shirt in gray and it's 100% tensile. And I love tensile. I think tensile is a really nice fabric. So I was so excited to find that piece. Oh my gosh. Even if I make 25, 35, that's still a huge win. Then I have one more piece that I picked up for us and one more piece for reselling. So I'm gonna save the reselling piece and show you guys this. I am so excited about this. I picked this up for Jeremy and I. We're gonna keep this for when we have kids. This is a Winnie the Pooh complete collection. This is so adorable. Look at that. Look at all of the illustration. And then this literally has all of the little poo books. Aren't they so sweet? There's 30 different books in here and then they all look like this when you pull them out. They're so sweet. Um, Pooh goes visiting and Pooh and Piglet nearly catch a woozle. Like, I can't, this is gonna be so precious. And it looks so aesthetically pleasing as well. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm so happy with that. So I picked this up and it originally cost 150 euros. So I don't know how much that translates to. I think this was marked at $10. And so I picked this up and with my cost of goods, $3 for this is an absolute freaking steal. So, so happy with that and I just think it's so cute, so I love that. And then the very last thing from the haul, what I picked up was this jacket that they did not know what it was. I did, I'm gonna zip it back up. Look at this black jacket. I am so excited. Can you tell what this is? This is what the zippers look like. I was so happy. I was actually wearing my Lululemon hat while I found this and I just felt like that was very lucky but this is such a cute Lululemon jacket. I'm not sure what this one is. It's definitely an older piece because it doesn't have the style name around the circle, the little size dot. It's a size four, but it's this black jacket. Really cute, really great condition. I literally just sold what I found in the bins for 60 something dollars. So I knew this was a great pickup. So I will try to figure out what jacket this is. If you guys know, let me know. But I expect to make at least 50 bucks off of that. And that was the last piece. So that was a great haul, 30 different items, some books for me and Jeremy. I found two things for myself and then tons of things to resell, all for $96.68. If you guys do not feel like going thrifting, this is your reminder to go thrifting. You could find things like this. Like that is so incredible. Not every thrift store is gonna be this amazing, but you can always find something amazing at a thrift store. So. Those are my pieces. Let me know down below which piece was your favorite. I don't know if I can pick a favorite. There's so many good ones today, but I was really excited about that Winnie the Pooh piece for us. I think it's so cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give today's video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. If you guys are not already subscribed, I know a lot of people watch without subscribing and they don't even realize that they're not subscribed. So that's why I remind you, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, but I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.